Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards, and today we're going to be making a card from the Gangs All Mirror, which is super cute. It has all these little mirror cats on it, and I've used a couple of things. Everything, all the stamps are from just this set, and so we've got that on the inside as well. And then we're also going to be using uh, the rectangle stitch frames to make this rectangle here, and that's going to be the largest rectangle, and then the the only little almost squarish one for this tag here and we're going to do it twice so uh and then we are going to make a uh, mask of the sun in the half inch little punch here so let's get started anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the very typical back black five and a half by four and a quarter cards forward and folded and then we're going to be using um the perennial essence paper it's that like cute little like watercolor paper on the back but this was really cute for this i thought for this as well so we're going to go ahead and take this and nail it and this is five and a half by four and a quarter so it's going to cover the entire black part of the car just make sure you get the right end and just put it right over the top all right and then we're going to have another piece of black here and it's going to be five and a quarter by three and fifteenth sixteenths which is one sixteenth short of being four inches and that's because the largest rectangle stitch frame just is this big and that, that's just the measurement i just wanted to have a little bit of black around the corner but that i know it's a funky funky um measurement but that's what it is so you're going to cut one of those so that is five and a quarter by three and fifteen sixteenths and then we're going to cut a piece of shimmery white paper also in a five and a half by four and a quarter and the reason why i did it so big is because i do want to cut this in this largest rectangle stitched frame here so that's a, a pretty good little uh, measurement so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we need to stamp up our little meerkat and the uh, cactus and the little lizard thing so the first thing we're going to do is this tall guy here and look how where i've got him on the thing and then this is how much is cut off from that five and a half by four and a quarter that we're going to do um so i'm going to put this guy like right here okay and then i'm going to take the cactus and the cactus was a little higher because that mound goes up a little higher so i'm going to put the cactus right here and i'm using stays on because we're going to be using um the stampin up blender pen and i didn't want it to uh smear if we were going to use a uh, memento and then i'm going to put the little lizard gecko whatever dude here all right and then i'm going to take the mirror cat coming out of his little house and i'm going to put him over here all right and then we're going to cover this little puppy up and make sure when you touch this ink pad that you make sure you don't have any ink on your hands so have a baby wipe nearby or go to the bathroom and wash your hands because you can <laughs> i was at the end of making this card on the inside of it and i nabbed it in the black at the very last second i mean i was done and it's like no so make sure your hands are clean so that's what we got there and then we're going to take all these little masks that you made and we're going to uh snail them up and just with the really junky the really stupid um big store or whatever this green one here that sticks to absolutely nothing it's actually pretty decent for doing something like this because nothing sticks to it so i'm going to mask him there's already a little tape on here from the first card so i'm not going to worry about it too much and i'm going to mask all these guys so you have to stamp them first and then put on your little mask that you made out of scratch paper and then as for the sun uh you just have to take your uh die here or i had a piece here and kind of figure out where you want that sun because it's kind of up in the corner there doink 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 like that so now we're ready to ink it so we're going to get a scratch piece of paper like this and the first color we're going to use is seaside spray so we're going to open them up and take these little sponges if you take your sponge and you cut it up into six pieces it works typically the best 
and then ink it up really good and then start off the page and then go into it in circles. And Seaside Spray, the reason why I start with that is because it is the lightest color and you want to go light first because you don't want to go too, too dark because it's supposed to be daytime. And then try not to do what I just did and that is do that because it will make a mark, kind of go into it in a circle. And we will try to blend out um, a little bit of this. So see how it goes and put a little bit more trying to make circles okay see that's a nice light blue and then take this try not to touch it because you're dealing with white paper here and then let's take some balmy blue and we're just going to give it a little bit of um, definition so the balmy blue and more of the outside than the in okay I mean, you can maybe brush over a little bit without going like that. Don't do that, because see what I just did? Um, and that's all I do. And oh, see, I just put my finger right in it. So that's why you have a, a baby wipe nearby, just to make sure you're not like touching the ink and ruining your project. All right, so that. Then we're gonna take a little bit of Flirty Flamingo. I thought this was kind of nice around um, the sun part here and I'm gonna put get a good amount of it on and just lightens it up a little bit kind of take it out a little bit just a tad and close this up and now we're gonna take some uh, pineapple punch and we are going to go around its mask a little bit. And then we're going to take the mask off. And then I'm going to grab my yellow. I'm going to grab my Daffodil Delight colored pencil and give it. And if you still have a little bit of residue from that glue, just wipe it off. It'll come right off and then fill this in. And what's great about the colored pencils is that we're gonna hit it. And by the way, close up your yellow and get it away from you before you touch it. Then we're gonna take the blending pen and we're going to fill that in and it'll smooth right out. Looks really cool. Just like that, it's really cool. And then the next part we're gonna do is the, uh, the dirt, the sand, the dirt, whatever it is. And we're gonna take our lightest color, which will be Sahara sand. So here's our Sahara sand. And I'm going to ink it up real good. And just start wiping it over. Be careful of your mask so you don't pull them up. This one can be a little lumpy looking because, you know, it's sand or dirt, so it should be lumpy. See how I pulled that mask up there and there? And just put some on there just give it some dirt look all right and then close this one up get it out of the way and then the last one would be crumb cake and this is just a little darker you can see the the color there and this one I just really don't want to do too much I'm just doing a little maybe about the edges here it's always a, a good rule of thumb that edges will be a little darker and maybe around the mound here anyway and then put this one away cool and then we're going to take our blending pen and make sure the last time you didn't use it you didn't leave the ink on it so this one's all clear it looks like it does have some ink on it but it doesn't and then i'm going to start with the sky first and I'm just gonna blend it out. Now this shimmery white, the reason why I picked it is because it really does the best in terms of doing any kind of ink effect like this on paper. Now it's hard to tell in the video, but it does actually make a difference. So I'm just gonna color of that and then get all the ink off and then switch it to the other side. Okay, that's all good. I'm gonna do the same for the sand. 
and just kind of blend it and move the colors around a little bit. Just makes it all look a lot nicer. Okay, and you can clean it off after until it goes clear. That's it. Alrighty. So now we're going to go ahead and get our stays on again. And you know what? You can go ahead and pull those masks off now. Take your masks and pull them off. All right. Then take the stays on. And always keep this plastic lid that comes with it. Keep it fresh. And then we're going to put in, and look, I touched it again. So like I said, make sure you keep something by you to wipe your hands off. And then I'm going to uh, stamp the dirt. A little dirt line. And this all comes in uh, in the stamp set. The gang's all mirror, so it's all really nice. It all comes together. I'm still on my scratch paper because I do want to ink off the edge. Okay. And put one right here. And I'll put one over here. Maybe by this dude. Actually, he's going to be cut off. All right. Okay, put this back on. And now it's coloring time. So uh, what I used for the Meerkats are the colored pencils, Early Espresso, and Crushed Curry. So for the Meerkats, when you color them in, make sure you try not to color in the whites of their eyes. So try to avoid that. On that, you can pretty much, I mean, you don't have to really worry about filling in all the white spots because we're going to use the blender pen again on it. So that's one mirror cat. And here's the other one, avoiding the whites of the eyes. And his neck, his little hands. Okay. And then we're going to take the crushed curry. And this actually turns out to be like a yellow, but I'm just going to put a, a big stripe down the middle here, maybe on the edge on, of his head. All right. And it looks pretty terrible until you get the blending pen on it. And it just does this amazing thing. Start in the middle on the tummy where that yellow is and pull it down. And you can already see, hopefully, that the color is just super different. It fills in all the blank spots with that blending ink it's pretty fantastic so look at that one compared to that one that's great then we're going to do that again on this dude avoid his eye make sure we get that yellow in there Ta -da! and then we're going to be using for the cactus we're going to use old olive and color him in good. For the flower, we're going to take Flirty Flamingo. And Flirty Flamingo is in this color. So it'll pick up this color in the sky. There you go. And then once again, take the blending pen. Make sure that it wasn't just used. And then we're going to blend the green in first. How fantastic is that? All right, get rid of the green. And then we're gonna do the flirty flamingo. All right, and then take that off. Now, if you noticed, if your mask was a little too high, you could just take this blending pen around it because it'll take the ink around it and kind of fill it in. All right, and then we're gonna do the little, the little uh, lizard gecko thing. And we're gonna use garden green on him and just avoid the white circles, or at least that's what I did. And then the blending pen again, make sure that nothing's on it. And film it, it's really cool. Really, it's like magic. So if you don't have one of these blending pens, that's definitely something to get. So there we go. So the last thing we're gonna do, well, second to last thing we're gonna do on the front is we're gonna take that largest die from rectangle stitched frames and we're going to line them up where we want it to hit. So 
for this one because I put that grass a little high. I think I'll put it right about here. So I'm gonna go die cut this and I'll be right back. And this is what it looks like after I die cut it. And, and just as a, a trick when you're die cutting this and you want it, it to stay in a particular position, washi tape it down because you have to washi tape it and you have to turn it over to die cut it. So just washi tape it, so just a little trick. So we cut that piece off. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our card. We're gonna take the card front that we already put this perennial essence paper on and we're gonna take our uh, new printed sheet and then that black piece of paper that has that silly measurement, you know, that, uh, and it's only because of that dye. And we're gonna go ahead and it's just gonna show that little bit of edge of black on it. So, and then we're gonna snail it to our card front. Make sure your card's opening the right way. Yeah, everybody does it. I even do it. All right, cool. And then we're going to be taking from that same stitched rec uh, rectangle stitched frames, this, this odd piece right here, and we're gonna cut it in two, that same perennial essence and in black. And then go ahead and get our silicone pad here and go ahead and snail that down to, whoops, Snail that down to the black. And I did it just off. I took it like this, just to be, you know, different. And then I'm gonna use my, I might as well use stays on again because I have it out. So that's what I've been using. And I'm going to be taking the sentiment, which is this one right here. Um, happy birthday to a stand-up friend. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp that on. Make sure you don't rock it and all that good stuff. All right, there we go. And I don't need to use my stamping pad. I usually do, but these are those orange stamps and it's fine to do without it, so. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals. I'm gonna take some dimensionals here and I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back. Take off the backs. And I'm gonna put this one, right? It's like kind of different in every card, just depending on where you put your stuff. So I can put this one right here if I want. So it's a little different just because the card's different. All right, and then on the inside, we're gonna take perennial essence again, and this is gonna be a five and a quarter by four and snail that up and lay it down all right and then we're going to take some shimmer white and this one is going to be a five by 3.75 and put it right down in the middle like that and then we're going to grab our stays on again because we've been using it anyway might as well just continue to use it and we're going to do the the gang of meerkats so stamp that up real good and it is that it is that uh, orange stamp, so we don't have to worry about getting the stamping pad, but it'd be nice if you wanted to do that. And then stamp them down real good. All right, and then we're gonna take the other sentiment from all of us, stamp that, and put it right under. And give yourself some room to write stuff in. I always get accused. It's like, you don't give us any room to write anything. It's like, I know, I'm sorry. I like to do <laughs> my fronts, my insides like I'm doing a front. And then I put a lizard down here in the middle, down the corner, because I thought he was cool. And then put the ink back on your stays on. And what? Wipe your hands. Wipe your hands so good. Because <laughs> seriously, I was at the very end of this one and I nabbed it. And it's like, no way. So make sure you, you do that good. And then we're gonna go back to doing some coloring. So we've got those two colored pencils, Early Espresso and Crushed Curry. So let's, uh, I will go ahead and color this and I'll be right back. I've gone ahead and I colored it just like I did the front of it. And now I'm using the blending pen again and have it do its magic. So I'm pulling that Crushed Curry that I put, put down the middle of the, uh, the body of the meerkat and kind of mixed it into the early espresso and I will blend the rest of this and I'll be right back.
there's a meerkat all blended out and then i'm going to go ahead and put in some grass so i'm going to go ahead and put in uh garden green so i'm gonna do this in the colored pencil just kind of give it a base here and while i'm at it i'm going to go ahead and color my little lizard in avoiding his little white spots and I suppose you could give him like yellow spots. Yellow spots be good too. And then avoid his eyeballs. And then just take the blending pen again. And of course, uh, wipe it off. Make sure it's running clear. Like this one had some brown on it. And just blend out that green so it looks real cool. And blend out the green here. Get in between their legs. And that, that is the card. So it's done. So this is a really kind of fun card. Now, if you want to win the demo card, you have to subscribe. You have to be a first time subscriber to my uh, YouTube channel and watch and like it, of course. And then go on my joyacards.com website and sign up there, join there and write me a note. I saw the video on the first first time subscriber, did I win the card? And I'll go, yay, yes. Because on YouTube, unless you have a public account, I can't get to you. So a couple of people have subscribed and I've wrote them. It's like, hey, you won the card just to, as a reply on the, on the message and they haven't gotten it. So if you are a first time subscriber and you watched a video and you didn't get any reply, just go on my website joyofcards.com kind of like, um <laughs> it's easy to remember and just join and say i watched the car or i watched the video did i win the card and i'll go yay and uh, just give me your address and i'll mail you the card so i hope you really like this please join my uh youtube channel and please join my new website joyofcards.com and you can see all the cards that i've ever made all the instructions, a total video, you can totally case or copy or however you want to tell it, say it. And yeah, just there you go. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.